and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm gonna be going over the brand new Ultimate Legends as well as trying to get that Tony Gonzalez, guys. That Tony Gonzalez looks pretty crazy good. I definitely want to pick him up. Now, his speed was a little bit less than I had anticipated, but powered up a sprinter. It's still pretty decent for a tight end. Although, like I said, guys, that Calvin Johnson tight end might break the tight end game, but it really depends on the speed because right now, Tony Gonzalez I think, comes in at around a 92 speed, powered up, chemed up. And we have John Madden ends up getting to actually, I believe, a. 93 which isn't really that bad but let's go check out all the legends let's go over everything guys i'm super excited to check them all out see the stats of course in my opinion tony gonzalez is great i'm a big fan of strahan but he is ltd which just kind of suck so i'm just gonna check everything out see how they'll fit onto my team per se but guys before we get into today's video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already like down below comment if you guys have any questions let me know what you guys think of these new ultimate legends down in the comment section now let's go check out everything on the block and see what's going on all right guys so we just got 99 overall tony gonzalez right here in the binder as you guys can see gotta check him out guys so i did power him all the way up 92 speed 76 strength 99 catch 99 catch in traffic 98 spec catch 99 short route running 98 medium route running he's literally the best wide receiver in madden i don't think there's a single receiver in madden with better stats he is the best catching and route running out of every receiver in Madden. The only thing is the speed. He's Kelvin Benjamin. This is what Kelvin Benjamin kind of looks like. Except Kelvin Benjamin's a wide receiver and he's shitting a golden ticket. So to compare him to what we currently have, which was Tony Gonzalez. I mean, you really can't compare him. He's going to be faster than every single tight end that I currently have. The catching and route running is just absolutely ridiculous. And let's see what his strength is. 76 strength, 88 agility, 96 carrying, which is super solid. It's 81 elusiveness. 87 ball carry vision stiff arm a little bit of juke right there this card is honestly just an all-around great card he can actually do everything in the short game in the medium game just like he's supposed to be going to be the ultimate receiver the only thing is the speed obviously but speed doesn't really get affect speed doesn't really come to play when it comes to route running he will make linebackers turn their hips he will make safeties freeze up his route running is just incredible going to be one of the best receiving tight ends in madden or probably is the best receiving tight end in madden i really do like this card see what abilities you can get on him that's obviously important when powering up a card. So, max security, 100. High success rate on possession catches. I guess that's pretty good. Let's see, Moss, max security. I'm not really a fan of using X-Factors, to be completely honest with you. I mean, for the little they come into play, I really just care about the abilities. So, let's see. Let's go to the third slot, because that obviously is everything. It was fourth slot, because it is everything. So, we cannot get armbar. You cannot get bulldozer, though. That would have been cool if we could have. Tank. He does not get tank, which kind of sucks. But... Streak Specialist, Homer, Double Move Elite, Matchup Nightmare, Indoor Baller, Clutch, In Specialist, Route Apprentice, which is cool, Cross Specialist, Post Specialist, Playmaker, which is really good for tight end, especially where they usually sit, Slot Apprentice, Leapfrog, Curl Comeback Elite, Outside Apprentice, Post Flag Elite, Tight End Apprentice, Red Zone Threat, In Post Elite, Slot Omatic, In Out Elite, and, and Out Corner Elite. In my opinion, pretty decent abilities. I wish you could have gotten Tank. That would have been super, super cool. But, but guys, it's still not bad. And he can actually become a wide receiver as a secondary position and you can put him there which would be actually super cool to put him at wide receiver although he's just a really slow but his route running would be incredible there'd be certain uses for him in my in my scheme per se but let's go check out the other legends now guys okay, so let's go check out the brand new ultimate legends first of tony gonzalez power up was cool and all we still got to check him out stock and see all the newer ones that have come out today what are these prices looking like wow barry's at 209 things just keep getting cheaper and cheaper but we got to go see what the new ones are looking like first I can't, I mean, they might not even be as expensive because of the whole market issues right now. So let's go on down. I did not see one yet. And there we go. Joey Porter, one of them. Now, Joey Porter isn't really that bad of an option. I've been looking at him. 89 speed, 90 excel, 92 strength, 96 tackle, 94 play rec, 80, 92 block shed, 95 power move, and 87 finesse move. So again, guys, as per usual, comes down to a zone. 86 agility. That will make or break this card. 65 catching, which is decent. If the zone's good, this card's insane. If the zone's bad, this card's good. 61 zone again not a zone guy i guess they're never gonna drop an outside linebacker zone but joey porter no zone which means he's just a pass rushing block shredder that's kind of slow so in my opinion you compare him, let's say to ted hendrix and ted hendrix is slightly slower with less pass rushing but i really wanted him as a zone guy six foot seven while porter is six foot three now porter if you want to use him as a pass rusher he's good and a good decent block shedder good tackle decent speed in my opinion if you're gonna use a block shredder i go with someone else 
for me, I'd personally go with Ted Hendricks over Joey Porter. I don't see the advantage of Porter. He's not that fast. He's, he's like decently fast. His pass rushing isn't even that great. Unless you power up and come up. And his block shed is not going to hit 99. And his strength kind of low. And 6 for 3. Ted Hendricks has a way better block shed. Uh, similar speed. Way better play rec. Way bit, way taller. And I'm not using him as a pass rush anyway. So for me, it's going to be Ted Hendricks. And moving on to the next card. Where we go on down to get to the second card. Which we have not went over yet. Where is he? Must be probably pretty expensive. Okay, so we got Tony Gonzalez. Based right here. 89 speed. 77 strength. 97 catch. 97 catch in traffic. 95 spec catch. 97 short route running, 95 medium route running, and 69 run block. This card, personally, stock looks pretty good, but guys, that 99 looked different. All those catching and route running. But let's get to the final card that we have not went over yet. That's Michael Strahan, Giants legend. And you guys know I'm a Giants fan, so I kind of want this card. But an LTD at 1 million coins, kind of ridiculous, to be honest. 6 foot 5, 84 speed, 91 excel, 95 strength, 94 tackle, 96 play rec, 96 block shed, 98 power move, and 94 finesse move. Now, this card looks eerily similar to Aaron Donald, which I kind of don't like. Now, Aaron Donald's, a Aaron Donald's a monster, but if I'm getting a limited time Ultimate Legend in April, he should not look like a base team of the year defensive player back in January. Specifically, like January like 16th, like that second to third week. It should not look like that card. But let's compare it to my old Michael Strand because I do still have one. So, he did get a plus three speed of boost. That's not bad. Or Excel, plus three strength. Plus three tackle, plus three play rec, plus four block shed, plus two power move, and plus three finesse move. Powered up and chemmed up. We'll get to an 87 speed, which is still super great. Probably like a 92, 93 excel. Close to 99 strength. He will get probably a 97, 98 play rec. He probably will get a 99 block shed as well as a 99 power move and a probably a 96 finesse. This card's still super great. Now I'd have to compare it to guys like Julius Peppers and stuff who are significantly faster. But I mean, as a block shed and power move combo, gonna be one of the best ones in madden power move block shit speed gonna be one of the best combos there but as the overall end i mean sometimes people prefer for finesse move so it really comes down to kind of the scheme you run in my opinion now, if i had to rate them if they were all the same price i could have any of them on my team i'm probably going personally with michael strahan first and the only reason for that is at the end of the day left end so important left and right end are so important and if i can power up a guy and get him to 99 power move and 99 block shit with great speed you gotta go him first. I mean, tight end's great and all, but tight ends just get open. And like the way I run my scheme, tight ends just get open. They get open all the time. I don't need no one special. You can give me a 65 overall tight end. He'll probably drop 50 yards, 200 yards a game because that's how I use my tight end. He's always gonna be open in my scheme when I use him. So for me personally, I think Strand goes first, although the price is way too high now. But like I said, if this price is worth the same, probably go Strand. I mean, although you guys might, like, might not like power move, it's still 99 power move and 99 block shot. And 87 to 88 speed, depending on a left end. And it'll be 99 overall. Then I'll probably go Tony Gonzalez next. Because still, still important, you know, you get that nice catch. And you know, you know he won't drop anything. That catch in traffic and that route running, he's going to be beautiful on routes. It's going to be pretty unreal how great he's going to run routes. Kind of like Antonio Brown back in his Madden Prime. And then last, probably Joey Porter. I'm not really a fan, like I said. If I'm going to go anywhere, it's Ted Hendricks. Ted Hendricks is taller, has better block shed, better play rec, similar speed, worse pass rushing, but... He's six foot seven, and I don't want to use him to pass rush anyways. It's good that I guess he can if I forget that he is pass rushing. But and he has a zone. You put lockdown on him, he gets a zone up to I believe an 81. Cards overall just great for me. I gotta pick him up as soon as I can. His price is pretty cheap right now, but as you guys know, I did spend all my coins on a million coin pack opening. So gotta get those coins back up, and then we can worry about that at a later time. But guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Let me know down below which of your legends was the favorite today. Did you guys like Tony Gonzalez, Michael Strahan, or Joey Porter? Like I said, I personally like Strahan. I think I like Tony Gonzalez more, but I think for my team, I'd have to probably go with Michael Strahan instead. But let me know down below what you guys think. Comment down below, like I said. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. I know I'm a little late today, guys. I overslept just a little bit. My bad on that one, guys, but it's, it's rare. It's a rare occasion that I sleep in, so I'm going to enjoy it. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out the other video for today. If you haven't already, like the video turn on notify boys and subscribe to the channel enjoy the rest of your day i'm not sure what other video i'm doing for today but if i do do it check it out give the video a big thumbs up but that's about it guys thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace